Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, so welcome back to this API series. And this is our next video on this API. So in this video, we are going to do some API call on Clockify. So this is Clockify. And if you sign up for free, you can just pick continue with Google or you can create an account. So I'll continue with this account. So this is my Clockify account now. Now this is saying that smell of sense workspace. So I can just rename or change settings. So before that, uh, let me get some basic information. So we need this information that Clockify API key that is found on this settings. And there should be an option to generate API. So let's change this name. API and workspace billable rate you can change this one if you want okay that is one permission okay i think log if i send one email i'll come with look if i can track time improve productivity and wait your team okay so we don't need to validate anything integration i don't need this integration let's see let's see profile setting email set password is not setted epic yes so if you go into this profile setting and then you scroll down then you will find this api key so generate an api key so this is our api key so let's copy that one into this blockify api key constant put the value now workspace id so we need to find that workspace id so let's see so that is that is specific workspace this test api workspace and let's see we do have one functions to call all the workspace or get the get all the workspace so if we go into this documentation so it's saying that introduction workspace and it's saying that get all my workspace so get and slash and then workspace so that is get url so this get url is up to this part http api clockify.me api version 1 so let's show you that also in this section so you can see api base endpoint so that is this one and api base endpoint for report that is this one and i have another constant for this one okay so this is api url so get all workspace so basically it's saying that we need to send a get request so here i'm instantiating this ms xml2 is xml http 60 and then get request clockify fa url and at the end we need to use workspace as you see in this section that get and then slash and then workspace so that is workspace and then if you see in this one so a string url asynchronous so false string user id and passwords we don't need that information in this section so set request header so if you go into this documentation again it's saying that all your requests should include x api key in request header containing your api key so in all of this request so whatever request we have we need to have header where we need to specify this x api key as the name and the value will be this clockify api key which we generate 
recently. So that is it if we call this and content type application slash json and then just send this and get the response. So let me run it. Yeah. So now we can see this id is 62b and then test api that is the name of this workspace and there are other data. So this is our workspace id. So I will get this workspace id. So that is this one workspace id. Now so this is our workspace id. Now get all clients. So in this one so let us show you this client information. So get request workspace workspace id and then clients. So here we need to know this clockify workspace id that we get from this run. So if we run this it should return blank because there is no client so far in my workspace right. So there is nothing. So if I go into this client so there is no client. So we can add a client. So we will call we will create one call for add client. So if I go into this section it is saying that post workspace workspace id and then client. So basically that is similar thing like this get client so now we can say add client add client http caller so this change to post instead of get now it will be post call and then we need to request example we need to pass this information that name will be client name and if we wants to pass this note then we need to pass the note. So let us see let me put this into a cell and that way I do not need to double quotes this code. So client name so let us test client and test client. So we need to pass this body in our call. So let us see if we do have this so clockify to set request header http caller dot yeah so we do have this body in this send call. So that is going to be this range h4 dot val or let us hope for the best and if we run this one so there is new return response where if I go into this clockify clients refresh it out and there is go so this is our new client test client now if I run this one that get all client in that way I get this client id ok. So that is client id. Now if I try to run this you know add client again then it should throw an error. So let us see. So it is saying that message client with name test client already exists. So code 501 so that is an error code. So it is saying 501 so add new client code so it's like 400 bad request client with that name already exist one workspace so that's it how to call you know add a client so that's it for today's video but we will see more api call on this particular different things like project task time entry expense invoice and other things thank you for watching have a good day